Trevor was really passionate about the move. He was really confident and he knew that this is exactly what he wanted. Trevor was born with cerebral palsy. He's always been adventurous and always been out in the community amongst people. <laughs> Trevor had been living in supported accommodation for three years and he really did not like living there. If I wanted to visit Trevor, I was told that I needed to make an appointment. Care plans weren't followed and that resulted in multiple hospital admissions. Making the decision to apply for this apartment was easy and an absolute no-brainer. So for Trevor now, he's fully independent compared to what he was where he lived before. He had no choice and control. He didn't have room for all his clothes. He never had his own belongings around him. He never chose what he ate, when he ate. Now he has all those choices. He chooses his own meals. He participates in cooking those meals and household chores. He has all his personal belongings around him of his own choice and makes him feel much more safe and confident. Living independently can't be done without the right supports in place. Trevor's always involved in meeting all the new support workers and he has the final say. We use an online platform and this involves putting up a profile of Trevor. We advertise specific shifts. You are then contacted by people who are interested and this starts a really good matching process. For us, it has worked really well. <laughs> This particular housing development was good. It's close to the station, the city and the shops up the road. It's important that Trevor can access his local community and get to know people. Since moving, Trevor has been out to a lot of live shows that centre around music and dance and in the city. And he comes home whenever he pleases. Trevor goes every Thursday into the Ministry School of Dance. The group have filmed their own hip hop song and dance. A lot of his days are actually unplanned. Trevor absolutely loves living in his home, playing his own music and doing what he wants when he wants. He hardly watches TV. <laughs> um, what does choice and control look like for Trevor now? Um, for Trevor, choice and control now looks like him having opportunities in life to explore things he wants to do, to have things done in the way he wants to do them, when he wants to do them, with whom he wants to do them, and even if he allows his mum in the house. <laughs> Sorry, but I just had to throw that D in Trevor. <laughs>